What is up my friends, Positive Gamer here, coming at you with a real quick and easy, simple tutorial video. Have you ever been sitting around and thought to yourself, dang it man, I wish I could play that awesome GameCube game that I had, but I don't have a GameCube console. Well guess what, you're in flipping luck because this is a tutorial to show you how to play GameCube games on your PC, and I'm telling you, you don't even need a high-end PC. Just a good basic laptop or desktop computer will work for this. We'll just hop right into the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is pull up the any internet browser and I, I want you to go to dolphin-emu.org. I'll put all these in the description so that way you can go and just copy and paste them. But that's the website you want to go to to get the emulator. Go ahead and go to that page. Once you're there, there's there's no tricks, no extra weird steps you have to do. Just click the big download button right in the center here. Uh, and now the one thing you do have to check if you have, as long as you have 64-bit Windows, you'll just go ahead and select the top option here. If you do have 32-bit, you'll want to select the Windows x86, uh, or for you. Uh, Apple users, you'll want to select the Mac option. Uh, I, for one, have Windows 64-bit, so you'll just go ahead and click that. Once you select it, you want to just run through the setup process, which I already have it installed on this computer, so I'm not going to run through the setup process again. But again, there, there, there's no tricks or anything like that. It doesn't try to sign you up for extra stuff. Just click Next, 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 and then Close when you get to the end of it. Now, once that's complete, you'll notice that when you launch the emulator... I know what you're thinking. Well, how do I play any games? I, th there's nothing here. It's just an emulator. I've got you covered. What you want to do is go to the internet again. And what you want to type in is emuparadise.me. It's kind of a funny name. But uh, it's uh, I'll have it in the description below so you can copy and paste. But you want to navigate to that site. This is going to be where you get all of the ROMs to load and play in the emulator. Now what you're going to want to do once you're on the site is go over to popular ROM sections and click on the GCN ISOs for the GameCube games. So go ahead and click that. Once you get there what's cool about this is they have a most downloaded section on the left, top rated on the right, and then they actually put the games that they have available in alphabetical order. So you can just click the letter and it will take you there. But for instance, I'll walk you through one of my personal favorites. Uh, we'll download The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So you'll want to go ahead and click that. Now what you want to do is follow these exact steps on every game and you won't click any ads or pick up any extra stuff. What you want to do is under the quick navigation options you want to select download links the big thing to notice on this is that they will always be in the color orange so you want to select download links first you can see again the orange theme you want to select download and then it will have the name of whatever game you've selected so go ahead and click that that's going to take you to another page what you want to do is scroll down look for that orange lettering again it will be under direct download now sometimes you can click this and it will not just automatically download it. It will prompt you to like their Facebook page or to, it'll ask you one of those questions where you, you have to answer the weird thing where it says, or click this uh, area, that every area that has a sign in it or, you know, it'll play an insurance ad that'll say type in save 20. It's okay to do those. It, it's not going to do anything weird. If it prompts you to like their Facebook page, just Click the link to their Facebook page, like it, and then backspace back to this page and you'll be okay. But once you click that, it will go ahead and start the download process. Now the trick here is, is once that downloads, it's not usable just yet. And I want to show you here what it would look like if you were to open this. For instance, I'll toss it on my desktop here. Now this is going to be the file that it's going to download to your computer. It's going to look just blank, just like a sheet of paper here. Uh, now I, for one, you want to uh, open this or unzip this. I use 7-Zip. There's a couple of different options of programs you can use. I'll put a link for 7-Zip in the description. It's what I use if you want to follow these exact steps. So what I do is I right-click this. It's going to take it a second here to open up the, the options for it. And then I go to 7-Zip option, which you'll have if you have 7-Zip on the computer. And you want to select Extract Files. 
Now what I did is I went ahead and created a desktop uh, folder called GameCube ROMs that I unzip all of these too. So I'll go ahead and select that one for my computer. So we'll go here, GameCube ROMs, select OK. Everything else you can leave the exact same. What it is is you want this to be, it's an ISO file. So you want this to be in something that the emulator can read. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Sometimes it'll take it a little while to do it. I already have this downloaded, so it went really quick. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Then next, what you want to do is launch the emulator, open. Then you will go and select that game that you had extracted. Uh, for me, for instance, it will be in the GameCube ROM folder, Zelda Wind Waker. Click the folder again, and what you'll notice is instead of just a blank piece of paper, it's a disk image file, so it will put a picture of a disk on the paper. You'll want to go ahead and just double click that icon. And you can see here, it will go ahead and play the game for you. The cool thing is with this, uh, let's give it just a second here. And there you go ahead and launch the GameCube game. You've got Wind Waker here on your computer. It's so cool, guys. Uh, there's a lot of games on there. I'll go ahead and exit out of this. Uh, it also has controller support, so you can use regular PC controllers, and you can even buy a regular GameCube controller and get an adapter that plugs directly into your PC, which really just maximizes the experience. And what I'm going to do also, for those of you who... For instance, maybe you don't have a fast internet connection. Maybe you don't have internet at all and you're just watching this on your cell phone. The files are a little over one gigabyte a piece for the games. So what I'm going to do is, and what I'm doing is I'm selling you my time and a 32 gig flash drive. Keep in mind the emulator and the games are free. I am in no way selling these to you. But what I'll offer to do is I will have 32 gigabyte flash drives and I can fit about 21 games on there. Uh, I'll put a list of what it normally what I put on the flash drives uh, but you can pick and choose whatever games you want from that website. What I'll do is if you just leave a comment below uh, and just let me know that you're interested in one of the flash drives for $25 I will give you a 32 gigabyte flash drive and pay for the shipping to you it will have the dolphin emulator on the flash drive all you have to do is install it and it will have 21 games already downloaded to the flash drive all you have to do plug in the flash drive install the emulator start playing games it's as simple as that and it's honestly just for people who maybe you're still just not tech savvy enough. You don't want to tackle this. You, you really just don't want to fool with it. It's an option for you. Just leave a comment below. But again, it's 100% free. It's really just, it, it brought back a lot of awesome memories playing Animal Crossing and Zelda, Resident Evil 4. Going back and just playing those really fun GameCube games that I played as a kid. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, also leave them below. I'll try to help them out, help, you know, try to answer those for you. I really appreciate the views and the comments on this. I appreciate it. Positive Gamer out.